This is our Divine Light Healing Circle on the 1st of February in 2021. And as always, we are bringing in the golden light first, envisioning the golden sun over our heads as a gateway to the divine, where a beautiful golden light beam comes from the universal oneness and out of the golden sun flowing into the top of our heads into every single cell of our brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, neck, shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and throw the feet into the ground like roots. All old non-supportive beliefs or energies of the day can be swept into Mother Earth for recycling, while we also gift Mother Earth with this beautiful golden divine light. And we might anchor it into Mother Earth's heart crystals to activate those crystals and the crystal grid around the planet. Further on, we are also drawing in the white diamond sparkling light of all colors. One could also see it as white opalescent shimmering bright light coming from the universal oneness and also flowing into the top of our head into every single cell of our brains, eyes, nose, mouth, throat and neck. These vibrations are new on this planet and will heighten our body and mind and emotional awareness and our psychic abilities as well for everybody on the planet. This is the year of empath and empathy and our empathic abilities will be heightened, but also purified by this white shimmering sparkling light, which flows now into our spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and shoulder feet into the mother earth. Connecting her also with this new frequency of white sparkling rainbow light or opalescent light with sparkles of new frequencies in all colors. And as we're bringing their frequency of gold and this white shimmering light from our heart into our aura, it might mix as the gold fills our auric system and the white sparkling light, they might mix to even heighten and multiply our vibration rate in our auric system. But naturally the golden light will form a golden projection ring around us on the outer rim of our energy field. Filled up and transfused with the gold, the white light enters with all the sparkles of this opalescent or white shimmering diamond light. With every single breath, our aura widens itself easily and naturally. As we are holding this new vibration of the opalescent shimmering bright light. And as it's flowing from our body to our hands, specifically in between the hands, building this healing light bubble. Hold 
transmixed and transfused with the white shimmering, sparkling, opalescent light. As we are getting adjusted to these new frequencies, I'm calling in all the guiding ones and guardians who want to be of service for the healing, angelic beings, all the guide animals who want to be there today, all the out of this world beings who want to help here today to help humanity in its ascension process. As we are getting more pure in our bodies and minds and spirit and emotional bodies, ascension will be becoming easier. But to hold this more energy, we need to make sure that we are well grounded. So pay for a moment attention that your feet chakra are well grounded and connected to Mother Earth so that there is no overload with bringing in these new high vibrational frequencies. There are metallic blues, metallic yellows, metallic greens, metallic orange, metallic purples and lavenders. Everything has a golden metallic undertone and sparkles like reflecting the core central sun, not only of our universe, but also from the core of the divine design. While we are bringing in these frequencies, we need to be relaxed. We are mostly relaxed in a state of vacationing. So I would like you now to envision the most beautiful spot you can imagine. Whether it's in the mountains or in, at the oceans or in the meadows or whatever you like, go to your mental favorite place. And if there's not a favorite place on earth, then go to your mental favorite place you can imagine. The most beautiful place you can imagine, the shaman also calls the power spot. I call it the soul garden. So go to this place of soul garden where you now you feel absolutely protected, safe and secure understood, taken care of, supported, and just in a state of bliss, relaxed, and open to these new frequencies which are flowing down into us, high vibration of the highest order, you might have some physical reactions down the line and you might also feel your blockages in your body a little bit more than usual. Do not get alarmed. Try to relax anyway, no matter what your body does in movements. The energy between your hands gets more refined while we are letting more of this beautiful rainbow metallic lights, shimmering bright out of this world lights combined with the white and the gold into our body.
And while our ethereal body joins into this healing today, as we are such tall beings spanning several dimensions, we are just standing in the light, holding space on this planet for this planet. Just relax in the most beautiful spot you can perceive and to let yourself being flooded as if you are basing in these frequencies of light inside and outside. You might swim in them as you would swim in air or in water. You might float or fly. While your energy bodies might float or fly, your physical body needs to be grounded to be able to endure and engage these higher frequencies. These higher frequencies might do something for your crystalline light body to make it stronger and more accessible from your 3D self. These energies might also transmute or transform some of your DNA strands to bring your DNA to a higher level so that not so much old ancestry lineage limitation will limit you any further, but that you can be free to move forward to a higher dimension in this existence. as we are willing to be space holders with the help of many, many beings for this planet. It is like lifting tent poles up so that we can stand tall in a reality of three dimension, shifting into fourth dimension, shifting into fifth dimension. standing tall as light beings wherever we go and wherever we are. But for that purpose, we need to be relaxed. The divine in us will lead us to the right things at the right time. We are allowed and can relax. As was each breath, the energy doubles and triples and quadruples. We can ask for healing ourselves while we are now going to address specific people to come into our circle. Ronald Bruce Tucker, Ronald Bruce Tucker, we call you into our circle. You have received several treatments for your cancer. Give yourself permission to open up for the divine light we're holding space for you. So that this frequencies of gold mixed with the white, crystalline, opalescent, 
out of this world vibration can flow through your body to make the miracles happen. Be receptive so that all that which is not conducive to your well being can be cleansed. And as we disengage from her, we are letting the light strongly flow between our hands outward into the world while we are staying completely relaxed. The golden light mixed with the colors of the rainbow the white, silver, sparkling diamond light and the opalescent light of a higher order of sparkling vibration, we sent around the planet Earth like a big stream of light, like a big flow around the planet Earth touching low vibration to bring it to a higher one, low minds to a higher mind, low emotions to higher emotions and more balanced emotions, low intentions to better intentions, low health to better health, low beliefs to higher beliefs, and also transmuting and transforming excessive greed, lust, anger, attachments. That everybody on this planet can experience a gentle awareness shift. Each and every one as they can allow it. The light flows strong around the planet and even into Mother Earth and out of Mother Earth in certain areas. In and out it rotates maybe even building up certain symbols of light on its own. But always for the best and highest order and always in the best and highest harmony. And there's a being which is associated with the rune god, Wunyo. And the energy of Wunyo, which looks like a pointed P, rotates gently in the earth and around the earth with a vibration of more joy. One you brings more joy. And as the joy frequency and the relaxed frequency spreads around the planet. We are knowing that we will stay stronger and with our light wider in low vibrational darkness. 
And our light will always find like-minded people and in the network of light, we are strong in bringing the planet to a higher vibration rate. And as we have now drawn in enough energy, we are bringing this healing to a close. bringing back our ethereal body and Buddha body into a good form around us, sinking with our awareness back into our physical form, but always aware of our energy field, which is expanded our higher self-connection. And at the same time, we're grounded that we never get an overload of these low high vibrational frequencies. We might see more things or sense more things than usual. but we will not energetically negatively impacted by what we see or sense, but will maintain in a good equilibrium within ourselves. Strength is held from within, like a rock in stormy waters. Only that the rock which we are is made of condensed light, standing strong in the stormy waters of these days. And so slowly and steadily, I'm asking now to come back to your body, make sure that your feet are well rooted in the ground. And maybe stretch to come fully back into your physical form.